Good morning, everybody. Glad to be here to share with you what we have done in the London and Middlesex local area. My name is Huda Hussein. I'm the project coordinator for the LIMLIP, as we call it in short, the London, Middlesex, and Local Immigration. We have been in business since 2009. Okay, how to do this? So we'll try to cover today, just give you a brief information about who we are and why do we have the hashtag all are welcome here now, who are our partners, what were the opportunities and what were the challenges, and we will share with you our plan for November 20, from November this year, 2017, to March 21st, uh, 2018. So, as you know that the LIPS have been funded since 2008, we were funded in 2009, and uh, as we know now, there are more than 70 LIPS across Ontario. It's uh, across the country, they started in Ontario, but now we have 70 LIPS across. And we are all funded by Immigration Citizenship, Immigration, Ref uh, Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada, supported by the Ontario Ministry of Citizenship Canada, called by the City of London, and a community co-chair. Having the co-chair from the City of London is really working very well because it attaches to its credibility and neutrality. The purpose of LIP, I would say that almost all of us have got the same purpose, is a kind to create that collaborative uh, framework to facilitate the integration of the immigrants by addressing issues and also by creating a stronger, healthier communities, which we would now call a more welcoming communities. This is our structure, how the LIMLIP is being structured. We, we chose to have a kind of community development approach where we invited the community to tell us how did they want their LIP to be. And this is how they have identified it. We have six issue-specific sub-councils. Each issue-specific sub-council will only deal with its uh, issue, find out the barriers, and kind of talk about the uh, addresses, how to address those barriers. And then we have, on the upper hand, the, the central council, which is a kind of overarching or overseeing council that meets monthly basis. And we definitely depend on the community, on the research, on the West. We have a very good collaboration with Western University and with Dr. Vicky Esses on most, almost all our projects. Why hashtag all welcome here campaign now? As I said, in 2013, 2016, 20, uh, in our uh, strategic plan of 2016, 2019, the community has identified one of the overarching themes as being as a welcoming community. So we have five overarching themes. It talks about communication and access to information, services, support to immigrants, and governors, and we also talk about uh, measuring outcomes, and the other one is welcoming communities. So the, it has been identified by the community, by the members. We also see demographic changes, which we all see over the, over the country. We have seen increase in the population. The increase in London may be 1%, but still it is an increase in population of the immigrant communities. So we do have immigrant communities settling in London, and the time is right. And unfortunately, the third reason being we have had some incidents that surfaced recently that really caused the community to come together and talk about it. So the time is right. So the, the reasons are very vivid. And Lip Lip, uh, Lim Lip has to have uh, to bring the sectors, as we said before in this session, that one of the strength of the Lim Lips, of the Lips across the country is bring different sectors to the table, including the immigrant community. We have many partners who work with us on the local immigration partnership, but this is specific to this project. So we have, you, you could see that we have got business partners, we have retraction, and we have platinum. I don't see their logo there, but I don't know what's happening there. So it's the small businesses who have been helping us to, retraction, for example, has been, is known for its community work. It's a business. They create websites. They have given us for more than $10,000 for free because they believed in what we are doing. And of course, we have Western, we have the city on board, and we have the settlement sector. Without the settlement sector, we will not be moving forward a lot because if you don't have their buying in, we won't move. So we do have that. And we have MCI also on board. So as I said, the opportunities are there. I mean, we have had incidents that are happening in London, and we do know that immigration is the way to go. We have no way other. We don't have our in-birth, I mean, uh, local birth is not that it does not increase that much. So we do, we will depend on immigrants, we will depend on immigration, so how can we strengthen that? And as I said before, racism, discrimination, hate crimes surfaced in London. If I can just share with you a couple of incidents. 
a woman was wearing the headscarf or what we call the hijab as I'm wearing now, and her hijab was pulled from her in a, in a supermarket just because no reason. The person happened not to like that. She just pulled it from her. That was one incident. Another incident, an international student, for heaven's sake, coming to Western University. He was with his girlfriend on a Saturday afternoon. Somebody, two people come and hit him just because they thought he was an Arab. Go back to your country. He's an international student. We want international students to come to our country. We want international students to come to our cities. But this is how somebody started, uh, thought of treating them. That was a big incident. So such incidents, and recently we have been having some rallies in London almost every month, one Saturday in a month. We have rallies against Muslims and against immigration and against immigrants. So these anti-sentiments of anti-immigration, anti-Muslim sentiments are, are on the rise. We need to not fight it, but we need to educate. We need to educate each other about how to coexist. I'm not saying tolerance, coexist. So we come to the project, all are welcome. Here are the reasons that we want to kind of address issues of racial, religious, and ethnic prejudice and discrimination in London by engaging everybody. How? We're going to do it in three parts. One, we are going to have the acts, 1,000 acts of welcome where we will ask every community member, youth, young, seniors, everybody, to uh, log out their one act of welcome that day. And we hope by the end of March, we'll have <coughs> 1,000 acts of welcome. And we'll use Twitter, of course. We'll use social media. And we will have one component of this campaign is the loan sign. You may have seen some loan sign here on Ontario, no matter where you're born, but we are happy to have you as a neighbor or something on those lines, I think. But we decided in London to, to, in London to create our own with the hashtag, this one. All are welcome here. So these loans, as we talk, are being finalized in London, and they'll be out by the end of November. We'll be distributing about, we'll start with 1,000 uh, loan signs, and we'll also have some paper decals for uh, businesses and for houses. Uh, what we are missing here is that she, the city of London is on board, which is really great, and again, as I said, it creates credibility, it creates uh, neutrality, that everybody is welcome here. So this is what will be happening. We will be asking everybody to be involved. We'll be asking the community. We'll be asking the, all the sectors to be involved because this is who we are as Canadians. This is what we want to do. And this is what we want to create a more welcoming communities. Thank you.